This tutorial is going to show you how to create a citation for a website. So if you've already looked in databases and you've found all the information that you can in the variety that we subscribe to at Rumsey Hall, and if your teacher says it's okay that you can use um, websites, then you can go ahead and do that. Sometimes teachers approve websites for you. They've already done some of the work for you to make sure that, the, that you can trust the information and that, that it's put together by a reputable organization or person. Um, so if you can use a website in your research, you are going to start, first of all, by going to your project and clicking on bibliography. Now, I have, I'm working on a, some research for a watershed project, and so I'm on the Foundation for Water and Energy Education site, which has been approved by a science teacher. And I want to include some information about these riparian zones. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this URL up here, this web address up here. I'm going to go to EasyBib, and I already clicked on that bibliography link. And you can see that it defaults to the website tab, and I know that because it is highlighted in blue. I'm going to go ahead, my cursor is flashing there. I'm just going to do Command V, that's the shortcut to paste. I'm going to click on Cite It. And EasyBib looks at some information and it shows me what it found. The website title, and I may want to improve that because this is just the acronym for that site. It gives me the article title, Riparian Zones. The date that I accessed it is today. Um, I don't know who the publisher is, when it was electronically published, or the authors. That doesn't mean it's not there on the website. I just have to do some extra searching for it. So I'm going to click on Continue, and what EasyBib does is it gives me a form, and everything highlighted in orange um, is information that EasyBib could not find for me. So I've got to go back to my site, and I've got to look around and see if I can find the author of this article here. And sometimes I need to click on a different um, page. I may need to go to About, F-W-E-E, to find who the author is. I get the mission, the background, the stakeholders, but again, I don't have one person's name. And sometimes you don't have one person's name. Um, but I am going to change Foundation for Water and Energy Education, so I'm going to go back to my easy bit. Whoops. I'm going to go back to um, here. And this is Foundation for Water and Energy Education. Okay, and I'm going to go look for the publisher or the sponsor. And again, oftentimes that's near the copyright. It's F-W-E-E. -E. Um, again, I could go to the About page and see if there's a sponsor. Just the mission, F-W-E-E -E members. So it looks like all I'm going to do is put F-W-E-E -E there for the sponsor, F-W-E-E. -E. And note over here that there's a Learn site kind of pop out there. And as I'm typing any information into this form, it shows me where it's going to show up in my final citation. So it's kind of teaching you that there's a certain place for each part of a citation, that everything belongs somewhere. And the last thing I'm going to look, there's no electronically published date, but again, um, I don't have it here. I guess I just have a 2015. I'm going to go back to that article and make sure that on that page, yeah, there is no specific date that this was electronically published. So the only thing I can put in there is just the year. And so once I feel pretty comfortable that the information is correct, I go ahead and click on Create Citation. And you can see I've got my little hooray. Uh, this is what it will look like in my Works Cited page. And if I had more citations in this bibliography, it would show up alphabetically.